five months after Taylor left and the place was a wreck mm -hmm. and God called me to help rebuild churches over here it's one of those things where you know when it happens you either better obey or you're going to be against his will mm -hmm. I mean it was that clear mm -hmm. so that's why I come because I was called to come but one of the Yeah. 
for everyone that comes to be a one step job. We bless you for the old people. We bless you for Pakistan. We thank Jehovah to take complete control. Let yeah. Jehovah we invite you. But your power to take complete control right now. Yeah. We give you the glory because those that belong to you. We thank you, Jesus. Somebody want to say, Don't tell the Lord. The man of God, I want to take the stand of preach. We will go to be on his side. The moment I share for you and interpret that the word will go for. We bless you with what you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Humbling experience to be here today among you wonderful people of God to present this key to their life, Liberia mission. The Son and of the Blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> and if we would have started on time, it would have been, uh, well, Amen. one away, <laughs> two time part basa, <laughs> a book of bubble. <laughs> oh, I, you don't know what a dream this is for me. So, you people are so good, and I. I brought 5,000 miles with me, the little white rock you gave me when I was here before. We had vehicle trouble, and pray for Brother Conga and Brother Cole, because they've been so big in this thing, and they weren't able to make it. We got so distracted by the vehicle problems and stuff, I left it in my home in Monrovia. But I still have your little rock, and I cherish it forever. So I, I really mean that, and it's such a, a privilege. But to hand the keys of this church, and I feel so unworthy, but the Lord is so good, and when he called me over here the first time, I didn't have a clue why, and he laid on my heart the second day I was here, that um, I was to help rebuild the churches after the war, and didn't have any idea how to get started, but never limit God, because all you have to have and he will fill in the blanks. Thank you. Amen. When we first planned this trip, we wanted to make sure that we waited until rainy season was over. And everyone in Liberia told us that rainy season is over at the end of October. And here we are in November. <laughs> and while we were in here worshiping, it was raining. And it was raining hard. Rainy season isn't over. Yet, we were in this house. And we were... This house that you built to gather together in, to praise God, that we're dedicating today for that purpose, that everyone might come into these doors, might get to know Jesus, whether for the first time, or they might get to know Him better. But outside, the storms will continue. We're going to pray that those storms lead people to this place. Okay, so on. Ready? And we, we want to thank the Lord for the opportunity of having this church in the town of Ragugire. And this is the town of the former which doctor who became a Christian and he wanted God's house to be built in his town. So he talked to Mr. Phil Ecker who talked to Samaritan's first to help in the building of the church in this town. Because there are Christians here who need a place of worship. And now we thank the Lord that through the joint effort of Revive Liberia Mission and Samaritan's Press, we have this church. And we, we in Samaritan's Purse help in providing the expensive things from the store, that is the, the construction materials, and then the villagers help in providing the lumbers and the skilled laborers 
and uh, all of the locally available resources like the sand, the rocks. And so we jointly work together by bringing our resources together so that with what we can help them do, they are able to also help themselves. So we do not give them everything. They provide the lumbers, the sand, the rocks, and everything that can be found locally. And the skilled laborers like the masons and the carpenters all come from the church. And then we provide the, the roofing materials, the cement, you know, the nails, and all of those expensive things that have to be bought from the town. So we, we really thank the Lord. We thank you all for your prayer support and all the support that you have been giving to the Revive Liberia work in the United States. Thank you and God bless you. Yeah. I wholeheartedly receive the building. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name. Amen. Some good singers there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, singer. Oh, you sir? Okay. What's your name? You don't know? Martina. <laughs> Martina. You scared of me? <laughs>